large birds. Pigua. Es un ave notable en terreno abierto. It is a bird that lives on open terrain. It is often seen perched on the top of trees where it can obtain better visibility or in fencing on the side of the road. They live in pairs and are rarely found alone. It is a carrion eater, but it also eats live animals and plant-based food. It often perches on livestock to eat away the ticks. Al Caravan. The Al Caravan, or double striped thick knee, is a wading bird that lives primarily on the edge of ponds, lagoons, and rivers. The thick knee lives in the eastern plains of Colombia and Venezuela. They arrive in the city when they are confiscated or because people keep them as pets because they're docile and very calm. So much so that in some parts of the eastern plains, they are kept in yards in order to ward off intruders because of their loud call. They can always be found in pairs, male and female. Their pigmentation, as you can obviously see, is brown. So this is an animal that is going to remain in the low-lying areas and it will use its camouflage to protect its eggs. Many animals don't lay eggs that are totally black, but rather spotted or modded eggs to assist in their camouflage. Toucan. Toucans are Colombian birds that are trafficked because of their beauty. People often keep them as pets. Many people believe that a toucan's beak is completely solid, but that is not true. It is hollow and very fragile as well. Its tongue is shaped like a little saw, and it's quite long. The beak helps it to regulate its temperature during the hot seasons. Paradise Crane All cranes are currently under threat because of the destruction of their habitat, particularly the wetlands where they nest. They are also sought after for private collections. Efforts are underway to aid in the conservation. You can help by not buying or trading in wildlife. The paradise crane is one of two types of cranes we have here, both of which are from Africa. This crane here cannot fly because she was brought from a place where she was kept as a pet, and they removed what would be the equivalent of her pinky finger, so she can't fly. Her color is gray throughout, starting with a whitish head and ending in a blackish tail. These birds can travel very far and at high altitude. Her head is totally covered in feathers without patches of red skin, as is found on other crane species. It is a relatively small crane, measuring 1.17 meters tall and weighing 5.1 kilos. The crown, forehead, and front cheeks are a clear gray color, sometimes verging on white. Gray-crowned crane. The gray-crowned crane has a very colorful head. It has a yellow plumed crown on top of its head, and it has some feathers that are reddish in color. Its forehead is black in color, resembling velvet. The opposite is true of the paradise crane's head. The paradise crane's head appears to be bigger. It seems to have a larger volume because of the feathers, which are interweaved as if it had a plumed braid, and that is why it looks so large. When you grab their head, it's all feathers. In reality, it's quite small. Soldier Crane The soldier crane is one of the largest birds in Colombia. This bird is found primarily on the eastern plains, on the shores of large rivers or the large ponds and lagoons that are found in the eastern plains. You find them in the company of other types of animals, and for that reason they live in multiple habitats. They are often found in the company of tapirs and peccaries. In the wild, their diet is based on fish, small mammals, and small birds. Here in the zoo, we give them chopped red meat in 50 to 30 gram cubes, as well as whole fish that live in their bathing pond. This animal has a long beak and is considered dangerous because of it. 
since it can seriously injure or kill someone with its beak. It is blackish in color, has no feathers on its head, and its neck is red. When the male is in heat and they are ready to mate, that red stripe will become even more noticeable. Their long legs only serve as support. They don't use them to grab food, nor do they have webbed feet. Unfortunately, this animal is also threatened with extinction because its habitats are being destroyed. This animal builds its nests in very tall trees, and the tallest trees are the ones that people tend to cut down for lumber, so that affects their nests. They are not being hunted down or killed, it's just the destruction of their habitat. Male and females are very much alike, they both have a red collar. There are no marked differences, the female tends to be a little smaller, and the male tends to be a little bigger. Their body is completely white, and as we already know, they have no feathers on their head. Black-necked screamer. It is a large bird, 79 to 91 centimeters long. They are distinguished by red-colored skin around their eyes. They have black feathers at the top of the head. The legs are a pink reddish color. The sides of the head and the throat are white, and the feathers around the neck are black. Their body is dark gray in color with some occasional green speckles. The McCoy is diurnal and a very social species, which can live in large groups composed of dozens of individuals who band together in search for food, groom each other, protect each other, and sleep together. The dominant members of the group tend to be adult males of breeding age. They communicate primarily by emitting loud and sharp shrieks. They are an endogamic species, which begins to reproduce starting at age four, laying anywhere between one and four eggs every breeding season, which runs from November to May. Their diet is composed primarily of seeds, although they also consume fruits, nectar, insects, flowers, and the leaves and stems of certain plants. They complement their diet with minerals that counteract some of the toxins present in their foods, which can be toxic for humans and difficult for them to digest. Did you know that a parrot's beak is highly adaptable? It can be used to perform delicate tasks, such as grooming, cracking nuts, and hard seeds. It also functions as a third leg, as a prehensile hook, used in combination with other legs, to move around the tree canopies. Common parrot. Parrot feet have two toes that face forward and two toes that face backwards. This zygodactyl formation allows them to use their feet as if they were hands. They can grab onto surfaces and manipulate objects. Parrots do not talk. They imitate sounds to communicate or confuse their enemies. This is taught to them by their parents. Depending on their species, wild animals have social structures ranging from solitary, lifelong mating, and group living. To lock them up in a house is to deprive them of the ability to develop with their own species, which can cause them to get depressed, become ill, and die. 